Okay then, so now we've seen this use state hook in action. Now what I'd like to do is take that and apply it to some other kind of scenario, for example, working with forms. So typically when a user types something into an input field in React, what we like to do is keep track of what that user types in and put it into some kind of state property. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna give the user a form to add a new song where they type in the title of the song and we're gonna store that in a local state using this hook use state. Now to do it, we're gonna create a brand new component. So let's call this new song form.js. And inside that, we still need to import React. We also want to import use state because we will need that hook. And then I'm gonna do a stateless functional component tab. We'll call this new song form. And then inside here, we want to return some kind of template. So it's just gonna be a very simple form this. So we'll do our form tags, then we'll do a label tag. And this will say something like song name. And then underneath that, we need an input field that the user can type that song into. So input, the type is gonna be equal to text. And then we're also gonna make this required like so. Okay, now finally, we need a submit button. So input type is equal to submit. And the value is gonna be equal to add song. Okay, so now we have this little form right here. What I'd like to do is nest this component inside the song list component at the bottom instead of this button. So let us now say new song form, press enter. It's gonna auto import that at the top for me and leave it at that, save it. Let's go over to the browser and we can see this form right here. Now at the minute, nothing's gonna happen, right? But what we want to do now is attach some kind of event listener to this form right here. So we'll say on submit and then set it equal to something. And we'll define this function later on, but we also want to track what a user types into this thing. So we can do that in React by saying on change. So whenever the value inside this changes, i.e. whenever they start typing something in after each keystroke, then this is gonna fire a function right here as well. Now, this function is just gonna be an inline function that I'm gonna write here, an arrow function, and we're taking the event object. Now, ultimately, what we want to do inside this function right here is store what a user types in into some kind of local state. Now, to use that local state, we're gonna use this hook, use state. So, use state, and we pass in an initial value for the bit of state that we want to use. In our case, it's gonna be just an empty string. Then as a user types into this on every change after each keystroke, then we want to update the state with whatever the user has typed in. So remember, we get back an array from this with two values, the actual value, which we'll call title, and a function to update that, which we'll call set title. So we'll say const and then square brackets is equal to use state. The first one is called title, the actual value, then set title for the function to change that value. So what we want to do inside this function right here is actually use set title to update this piece of state with whatever the user typed in at that moment in time. So we're doing this on one line, so we don't need those curly braces. Instead, we'll just say set title, and we wanna pass in the value that's currently inside this input form. So we'll use the event object, then we'll say dot target to get this input field, then dot value. So that's gonna get us the value of whatever is inside this input field at that moment in time, and it's gonna apply it to this thing, this piece of state. Okay, so we're now keeping this in sync with whatever is inside this input field. Now, I'm also going to attach over here a val property or a value property rather, and set it equal to title, like so. So we're setting it equal to whatever is in the state. So to begin with, when we first load the page, that's obviously gonna be nothing. Okay, so now if I save this, actually nothing yet is gonna happen because when we change this, all we're doing is updating the state and we're not logging anything out or anything like that. So in fact, let's create now a function to handle the submit. So we'll call this handle submit and then up here, we'll define that function. So const handle submit and set it equal to an arrow function. We're taking the event object and inside here, the first thing I'd like to do is say e.prevent default, just to prevent that default action of the form 
when we submit a form and that is to refresh the page we don't want that to happen so we're stopping that right here and then what we'll do is just log out the title so whatever a user has typed into this input field so we'll say console.log title okay so let me save this now and preview it in the browser over here so now as we type something in if we go to the console over here and press add song now we can see this is in the console so now it's working but what we need to do is take this and actually output it so we want to add it to this data in the song list over here so to do that to change this data we need a function which is going to take what a user types in here and then add it to this data so we already have a function here that we defined in the last lecture called add song and that takes all of the current songs and puts them in a new array plus a new one now it hard codes the title but what we want to do now is output the title that we type in here so we can take that in as a parameter here we'll call it title and then we'll set title equal to title now I can use a bit of ES6 shorthand for this because the property name and the value of the variable is the same so I can just say title like so and that does the same thing so we now need to pass this add song function into this new song form component so that we can call this function from this form component up here when we submit the form and when we do that we pass in the title so it receives that title and then it adds it to the songs array so let's do that let's come down here and we'll say add song is equal to add song so we're just using a standard prop right here save that and then we need to accept it up here inside an object so add song like so and then over here where we're currently logging it to the console instead we'll say add song and we want to pass in the title which is this bit of data which is kept in sync with what a user types into the field so let's save this and see if it works head over to the browser and I'll just say test press enter and it works and I can do something else add song it works cool now one thing I'd like to clear this field when a user's typed something in and pressed add song because at the minute if we want to add another one we'd have to delete that first then add it in so I want this to auto clear dead simple to do all we're going to say is set title which is the function we can use to update this over here set title and we're going to change that back to an empty string and because this value of this input field is kept in sync with this piece of state when we do that and we update this piece of state then this input field is going to update as well with that empty string so let's save that and preview so testing yep it works one two three it works awesome so that's one nice use of use state to use it with input fields inside a component